The Citizens Police Academy is our department's um, opportunity to continue working with our public to teach them more of the things that we do. It's a bit of an overview, so they don't see every detail of everything that we do, but it shows them a good introductory level of the different divisions and departments that span across the entire Sheriff's Department. Today's class of the Citizens Police Academy is highlighting the fire investigations, and then after that, they're going through a quick uh, crime scene investigations session, and then we're gonna wrap up the day with the drone program. So our job is to, when we get to a fire scene, we reconstruct the fire scene. So you'll see um, a fire happens across the street, and they're like, well, what started that fire? And they expect, oh, we should have that answer tomorrow. That's not always true. Today, we talked about uh, fire investigations in my agency and how we work with the LaPorte County Sheriff's Department investigation team. So our job is to investigate fires for the state of Indiana. And in LaPorte County, we assist the LaPorte County Sheriff's Department in investigating fires. We see a lot of fires that happen for various reasons, but as we talked about, um, some of the reasons are by accidental reasons. So some of the cases we investigate are due to careless smoking unattended cooking and not paying attention, then fires can spread fast. That's why it's important to have smoke detectors or be alert of your surroundings, especially if you have live fires burning like in the backyard. And so that's what we talked about today in class and then how our agency investigates the fires once a fire happens. Well, it does for a while and you don't find anything. It's just like you, you don't want to waste all day on it. So you just kind of... So we covered quite a bit today. Um, we covered a lot of crime scene investigation, which is what personally I like to do a lot of. I think it's just really important to show the different stages of a crime scene investigation. Not everything is the large pool of blood or, or the huge fingerprint on the glass that solves the case. It's a lot of little things that can get put together um, in terms of how we can swap for DNA and how we can correlate it to an individual that has been in and out of the system to try to help match DNAs and to show different areas of a crime scene investigation. I find that it's really important, especially with crime scene photography, just to really show the various stages of crime scene investigation and how some things kind of are, what are there found. And um, not everything is out to display. You have to kind of have to dig further in using uh, fingerprints and um, photograph and different technology in that manner. The technology is amazing. Um, we use our drones for accident reconstruction, suspect search, elderly, lost children, crime scene documentation, hazmat, fires, protests, training, uh, just several different aspects. A lot of it is fatal crashes and the features that they have with the mapping of the crash scene to get that 3D ortho mosaic of the scene. Our agency has always been very close-knit with the community that we serve. With us having the second largest by geography uh, county in the state, it's always been, uh, I can imagine anyway, a task to make sure that every member of our uh, community is given everything that they need, not just as far as the attention on an everyday basis, but a good solid sense of the resources that are available to them. So through the Citizens Police Academy, we just continue to work with our community, those that we serve every day, by showing them the things that we're doing and also educating them so that if they need something, that they know who to call in the department or which resource out of the department that might be best to meet the needs that they have. I would say you'll know a lot more about what the offices go through on a personal basis and know more personally about them. So when you're seeing them on the side of the road or interacting with them, you can do more beneficial things to help them out because we're all human and we're all people, so we all should be able to understand each other and how we can help each other with everything that we do. And you develop what we call an area of warning. Now, it's not like on TV where I can say, this person was standing right here, and they shot that person when they're right-handed. No. So something that's commonly talked about in this field is called the CSI effect and something that we always try to do in trainings and in classes such as this one today is kind of to show how the CSI effect, if you will, um, is kind of dismissed a lot in what we do. Um, a lot of people tend to think when they see something they want to hurry up and move it before they call us. Um, we try to encourage people to kind of leave things as are and the importance of leaving things um, in the element that they're found in in terms of how we conduct our investigations with DNA and placements um, and further try to disprove how what they see on TV is not what we do in the real world. Being a part of the LaPorte County Citizens Chef Academy makes me feel like I'm more empowered 
in accomplishing some of these, like the preventing fires and being able to spread the information to my fellow classmates and college and friends and family, so that way the entire community can be bettered. And then of course I'm hoping and I believe the sheriff would agree that this word of mouth will continue after the class session is over so that if these 15 members of our local community have any of the things we've come up and talked about during the class, if any of that's relative to their daily life, then they can share that with someone that it also might be important to learn. Um, and then we do, of course, intend to continue this program so that we can keep reaching out to more and more members of our community.